Welcome in, today's video will give you tons of tips and tricks to master Mirage in your games. Mirage even bamboozles the foozles in the metagame because everyone doubts him, but I'm here to show you how truly powerful Mirage can really be. Let's start by breaking down Mirage's abilities and covering all the changes and buffs he received in Season 16. Then I'm going to go into more detail on how to play him and how to truly capitalize on all of these abilities. If you do want to skip around and find exactly what you need, timestamps are in the description. Description. Now you see me is Mirage's a passive ability and it transforms him into a support legend in many situations. This is one aspect of Mirage that a lot of players don't understand. He gives you a solid aggressive type legend in fights, but also a support style legend for extra utility to help his team with his passive. New in season 16, Mirage and his teammates become invisible when Mirage is reviving and after the revive, both you and your teammate will be invisible for a few seconds. This is very crucial when you really need to put out some major damage, those enemies aren't going to be able to see you once you get your teammate up. One other major tip with Mirage's passive is he can't be scanned by the Beast of the Hunt with Bloodhound, and he can't be detected by the Mother Load by Fuse. Now, focus of attention from Seer reveals his position, but removes his bars. Use Chaos to your advantage. When you're downed with Mirage, it is not advised to use your knockdown shield immediately as it will give you away. Instead, try to go to a nearby area and hide. Psych Out is Mirage's tactical ability where he releases a decoy that Mirage can control by his actions. If you hold the tactical button, so for me it's L1 or LB, then once you release that button, the decoy will copy your exact movements. The decoy can either copy all of those movements or be left alone sending it to its proper destination. A lot of Mirage's power comes from making an enemy take shots towards that decoy. This obviously places a marker over their head for you and your teammates to track but it allows you to get the first free shot and first damage to initiate the fight. In addition to Mirage gaining the first damage, it also is an underrated factor that the enemy is going to likely have less ammo in their clip since they fired at the decoys and you will have the upper hand with the amount of bullets you can hit them with while they might be forced to reload or switch weapons. Depending on how Mirage manipulates the decoy, it can become extremely realistic to fool enemies, so this is why Mirage is so fun because it takes takes so much brain power to try and outsmart your enemies. For example, when you're trying to take cover and enemies have line of sight where you are holding, throw the decoy the opposite direction you are going to peek and shoot. This seems obvious, but it makes players react with their aim initially with that decoy and will give you priority to shoot first in the fight. This ability lasts for 60 seconds and has a 15 second cooldown. The decoy cannot be damaged by the player team, but it is destroyed by anything that can cause damage. The decoy can't go through teleporters, but it can activate gravity cannons. They also don't leave tracks or block doors. The decoy will react differently based on Mirage's actions. For example, the decoy will become much faster when you deploy it while you're slide jumping. One nice trick with the decoy, when you know an enemy is holding a specific corner, you can wall bounce and send your drone midair. This will cause your enemy to be caught off guard and take their eyes towards your drone, and then you can follow up with quick and aggressive shots. Another useful decoy tip is when you need to take height and climb over an obstacle, you can jump and deploy your decoy on top of the wall. This can distract your enemies and give you time to climb up and shoot. One major use that I like to use with the drone is to give the impression that I'm pushing from a certain angle. However, I'm moving to a completely different flank to surprise the enemy. A lot of times when pushing one location, I'll send my drone forward with my teammates and then I'll take another route and use my ultimate to cause some massive chaos. If I know that I want to automatically control the drone after sending it out, I'll hold down the tactical button, so for me it's L1 or left bumper, then all of my actions will be copied by the drone. I like to use this to walk in front of me, and when I'm pushing a certain location, I will have the drone maybe pretend to head glitch on a ramp, for example, to resemble a player, and then it can proc my enemy to shoot them and reveal their position. If you do know an enemy is holding a location, a lot of the times I'll just throw the drone to run straight 
straight in or I'll be controlling the drone and slide jump in to resemble a real player. And then I'll either run directly behind the drone to follow up with shots or I'll take a different route to be more unpredictable. Obviously use your drone in front of you when you're crossing open areas because people will potentially shoot your drone and save you from some damage. This thing comes off cooldown very fast so don't be afraid to always have a clone by your side. Now a super troll tactic you can pull off with the drone that would be really fun is you can pretend to be a decoy. You can either run in a straight line separate from the decoy's direction or heck you can even stand still and people might think that you're just being a bot. You're just being a drone. And then lastly of course use your drones when flying from the dropship or balloons in order to create the impression that tons of teams are landing in the area so your specific drop location is less contested and you and your team can grab the loot there freely. Mirage's ultimate is called life of the party and releases a team of decoys he can control. This ability has a cooldown of one minute. You're going to have this all the time so use this every single fight. When activated Mirage deploys five decoys that are going to copy your movement. Each decoy has 45 HP. During activation Mirage will blink in and out of view for a second so make sure you're out of sight when you pop the ult because you'll be easy to spot out of all the other clones. The real Mirage will have a sort of a flashing pattern when he comes out of that invisibility. The ultimate ability is actually the ultimate counter to one of the strongest legends in the game, Seer. If Mirage activates his ultimate, then Seer will pick up all the different Mirage drones as enemies in Seer's ultimate ability called Exhibit. When you pop your ultimate in the open, a lot of times you want to immediately change direction that you're traveling in order to appear like one of the drones and not stick out like a sore thumb. This is really gonna bamboozle your opponents. Use this ultimate to distract while reviving as well. When you're reviving a teammate as Mirage, this ability is the the perfect distraction. The decoys can confuse enemies long enough for an invisible mirage and his ally to retreat to safety. A good tip with this ability is to make note of where the center of the ability is located. To give a bigger distraction or to reset your drones, you can go back into the center and pull all of the drones back towards you. Like if you're getting focused and you're getting shot at and they know which the real mirage is, you can run back into the center and then disappear among the rest of the clones. If you're pretty close to an enemy, me while you are popping your ultimate while you're in your invisible phase you can activate your tactical ability and cause your drone tactical to run directly at that enemy they're gonna think that that is the real mirage most of the time and you're gonna get a free bamboozle from that tactical then lastly the invisibility part of the abilities activation can help you escape to a certain point like if you're really trying to make a risky cross out in the open it's not a bad idea to pop that ultimate just to get invisible create drones create a distraction and just get where you need to go. The ultimate ability really has no limits. There's so many cool and fun things you can do with this like ulting and using a finisher on an enemy just to cause a massive distraction to surrounding players or even using an emote to spawn out two different mirages from each specific clone and flood the battlefield with mirages. It's actually hilarious. Lastly, let's talk loadout. Since mirage can rush with his clones and create massive chaos and confusion, it's important to have fast firing or heavy hitting close range weapons to really capitalize on players that are unsure which mirage you really are. Some of the best weapons for a mirage are the wingman since you can get close to enemies and keep a fast strafe pattern and hit hard with wingman headshots. Other great options for mirage are the R99, car SMG, prowler, vault, peacekeeper. I usually like to pair one of these close range weapons with mirage with an assault rifle like the R301, flatline, or nemesis. That way you can have something for mid range but I also like those heavy hitters for close range fights with mirage. So that's going to do it for my ultimate mirage guide today if you want to see any other legends i do have a playlist with tons of legends i'm also gonna have tons of content for apex this season so stick around guys like this video subscribe to the channel for future apex legends content and i'll see you in the next video i'm grizzy and i'm out peace